Okay, I'm doing getting some of those traps ready now. I got I got a couple done. Uh, I got to get some trip a little bit trip for bait. So you know, I even uh, I even painted this one a little bit camouflage to try it. I had uh, last year. I uh, I used oh I don't know what it was now. I forget it's, uh, some kind of stain of it was. So anyway, what I got down here is just little small pieces of pipe and I just cut like uh, the stuff that holds the wire together so I split it and it just wraps around it's all over the spring in place on each side. So of course you can see there's a bit of green paint that I just put on there and this is going on the water so they're not going to smell any paint or anything like that and I've used paint that stuff before and sits on the water and there's no problem so anyway there's a little trout now. I'm going to slide on there and I'll just go off and keep it inside the skin. And inside the skin, this trout is not very big. And put two or three there you want, but I'm just going to put one in there. We got rock cards comes in and eats the buggers down where it puts this set to. So, would have been nice uh, to keep the trout. Pretty good fear there. So, okay. I can guarantee you that that one's going to catch you hotter or mink. So that'd be one of the first ones. The reason why I haven't been catching any otters yet is I wait for otter to be be prime white skin. I got one there, a little bit black, and actually I don't like that very much. But anyway. This is a, this is a swivel I got on the end of the cable, which is attached to the trap. And what I do, I just take the end of this, push it into the swivel like this. Now the swivel, you don't need it on the water, and you get a, a stick or anything anchored down on the bottom, and and you can just slide this stick right in, in through this air, pull it tight, put a nail in it if you want, or a rock, long rock, piece of horn, anything else. So that'll anchor the, oh, one thing I did forget, make sure that this, this swivel thing goes in through the cage in, in one of the stronger areas, if you want to keep your cage, uh, probably around the trap right there somewhere, and uh, attach it. There you go, like, like that, so it's all in one. As you can see, this one was in the salt water before. So, and there you go. Yep, that's that one. And I got another one. They are ready to go too now. I believe I got six of those that uh, I use just about every year. And they're really good even when after the ice uh, comes. Okay. Oop.